As of Max 5.1.8 and Live 8.2.2, you can create a modulation map in Max for Live using the Selected Parameter feature of the Live API. This feature allows you to navigate to device parameters just by clicking on them. This makes it easy to create modulation mappings without having to browse the Live Object model to set them up. The Live.Path object will generate the ID of any selected parameter after you've sent it the Live Set View Selected Parameter Path. Now I'll send the message, and you can see that Live.Path generates an ID for each parameter control I click on. The remaining part of the patch passes the ID along to live.object. So now my number box is mapped to the chosen parameter, and I can set the value of it. If I wish to change my mapping, I can just select a different parameter, and the mapping is reset. Note that when I click on the number box, live.path sends out ID 0. This is because the number box's parameter visibility is hidden. So when I click on it, there is no path to be made to my selection, and live.path sends ID 0 instead. I'm using the substitute object to filter out the ID 0 notifications to ensure they don't supplant our mapping. The selected parameter feature also works in JavaScript using a callback for the selected parameter.